All right then, so now we're listing all of these different people on the forward slash ninjas route. It would be nice if we could click on one of these to go through to a details page for that ninja and see some information about them. So to do that, we're going to have to create a page for each one of these and a route for each one of those. And to do that, we'll need to talk about route parameters. So the routes that we need to generate for these details pages are going to look something like this forward slash ninjas forward slash ID where this ID is a changeable part of the route and it's going to be the ID of the ninja or the person that we want to see the details of. For example, it could be forward slash one to see the ninja with the ID of one forward slash two forward slash 25, etc. So this part right here is going to be changeable. So dependent on how many different ninjas that we're listing, we need to have a route generated for each one of those. Now to understand this a bit more, I want to talk a little bit about what Next.js does for us in terms of static site generation. So once we've completed developing our application, Next is going to generate a static site for us based on all of our page components. And it's at this point that Next renders all of our page components into HTML files and JavaScript bundles that go with them for any interactivity on those pages. So now we have a load of pages ready to deploy to the web, a static site containing just these HTML pages and JavaScript. So it's going to generate, in our case at the minute, an index homepage, an about page, and also the ninjas homepage as well. So when it comes to building our ninja details pages, it's going to need to generate an HTML file for each item of data that we have. In our case, that will be 10 different pages, which is how many items we get back from the API endpoint that we're using. So it could be this one for forward slash ninjas forward slash one, this for forward slash ninjas forward slash two, etc. And we'd have all of these for each one of our items from the data. Now the template and the component that we use will be the same for each one of these pages. So we don't need to make multiple components for them, but next still needs to pre-render a separate page for every single ninja and assign each one its own route. So we'll see that in action later on. But first of all, let's create the ninja details components that these pages are gonna be based on. So I'm going to make that details component inside the ninjas folder. And that's because we want the route to be forward slash ninjas, first of all, then forward slash the ID. So let's make it inside there. But what do we call it? Well, you might think we call it ID.js because after all, we said it would be forward slash ninjas forward slash the ID. But this will only match the literal route forward slash ninjas forward slash ID, literally. It wouldn't match forward slash ninjas forward slash one or forward slash two or one, two, three, etc. We need to tell next that this thing right here is gonna be changeable. And the way we do that is by putting square brackets around the name. So square brackets open and then close at the end. And that tells next that this right here is a route parameter and it's going to be changeable. Now you can call it what you want. You can call it slug or hello if you wish. I'm going to call it ID because that is the thing that's going to go after ninjas. So that this will match any route now forward slash ninjas forward slash one, two, three or forward slash five, six, seven, etc. And then we're going to show a page based on this component. So let's create that component. I'm going to call this details, but call it what you will. And then inside just a very simple template. So I'm going to do a div first of all, and an H1 inside that that says details page like so. And I'm going to try this out. So now if I go to forward slash ninjas forward slash one, we should get the details page and we do. This can be one, two, three, or it could be five, six, seven doesn't really matter. They're all matching this route right here because this part is changeable, the ID, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do is link to this details page when we click on one of these things right here. So let's go back to the index and all we need to do is instead of this being a div right here, we need this to be a link that is going to link to that page and we can pass through the ID into the route because we have access to the ID on the ninja object. So let's change this to link and then the closing tag to link. We also need to import that at the top. So let me do that as well. Import link from next forward slash link like so. Okay, so we keep the key on the link, but we also now need an href. Now I'm going to set this equal to something dynamic and I'm going to say it's going to be forward slash ninjas first of all, 
forward slash and then I want to tack on the ID of this particular ninja right here and remember we have access to the ID property so we can just say plus and then ninja dot ID now you could use a template string here instead if you wish I've just chosen to concatenate instead doesn't really matter so if I save this now these should all be links and if we click on one we should see it goes to the correct URL for that person. Let's click on a different one. Now we see six, and if we go to the bottom, it should be 10. Yep, so this all works. Now the next thing we need to do is we need a way of identifying the ID for each Ninja Details page on this page and fetching the data for that particular Ninja so that we can show it on this page. And we're gonna start that process in the next lesson.